Hi everyone. In this video, I'm trying to troubleshoot this particular problem. I'm trying to connect to my storefront URL and for whatever reason, it says no logon methods are available on this platform. So I just tried refreshing this, but I still see the same error message. It says no logon methods are available on this platform. So uh, let's do one thing. Let's try to uh, use a different browser and see how it goes. Okay, so this is Google Chrome. Let me try to access the same storefront URL from here and see how it goes. Okay, this is the URL. Let me hit enter. Okay, it still throws the same error message. It says no logon methods are available on this platform. Uh, usually it should give the username and password to log in, but for some strange reason it is giving this thing. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's try to connect from a different server and see how it goes. Okay, this is a different machine. Let's try to access to a different URL from here and see how it goes. Okay, it still throws the same error message. No logon methods are available on this platform. Let's do one thing. Let's quickly check the services once and see how it goes, okay? So these are the services. So let us check some services, Citrix related services. Okay, Citrix subscription store, Citrix default domain, Citrix credential wallet, Citrix configuration replication. Uh, Citrix peer resolution. Everything looks okay from here. So uh, what could be the reason? So let's do one thing. Let us try to, let's close this. Uh, let's try to connect to the storefront console and see how it goes. Okay. Okay, this is up. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's check the because the error message. If you see here, it says no logon methods are available on this platform. So it is uh, it is giving some hint about the logon methods, like the authentication methods. So what we can do is uh, once we log into Citrix storefront, uh, we can look for the authentication options here. Okay. So let this. So this is the store. So let me quickly go to authentication methods. Uh, it is taking a while to load, so please bear with me. So it is really essential to check whether we have the right authentication method configure, configured correctly or not. Okay, it should be coming up in a few seconds, hopefully. Okay. If you see here, the authentication methods here, it's username and password, SAML authentication, domain pass-through, smart card, HTTP basic. If you're going through Netscaler, then you can select this pass-through from Netscaler gateway. Okay, so the uh, in our environment, we are just using username and password, which is okay. So the configuration is right here, but still we are getting this uh, message. It says no logon methods are available on this platform, okay? Okay, but if you see here, the store is virtual store web. Okay, uh, I think we have to check the different store. Okay, let me cancel this. Okay, so this is the right store. So let me select this. Okay, it's a bit slow today.
okay so the right store is selected now if you see here the authentication method here it says it is set to pass through from netscale gateway okay let me click manage auth authentication methods okay if you see here uh, the manage authentication methods for this virtual store it is set to pass through from Netscaler Gateway, which is incorrect because it's a test environment and we are not using Netscaler Gateway to connect to the Citrix environment. We just use username and password to log into the Citrix environment. So let's do one thing. Let's uncheck this. Okay. So you have to set the right option depends upon the authentication method that you are using in your Citrix environment for whatever reason after some update if it changes to uh, some other thing then users will not be able to connect to the Citrix environment they cannot authenticate so we have to make sure that we set the right option here so let's do one thing let's change it back to username and password okay so this is the one that we are we were using before so let's click OK It takes a couple of seconds, so please bear with me. All right, so we have changed it to username and password. So when you try to log into the storefront server, storefront URL, it should ask for you only username and password. Okay, so yeah, username and password is selected. So let's do one thing. Let's quickly go back to uh, the okay let's quickly go back to internet explorer and try to refresh the page and see how it goes okay i'm going to refresh now okay if you see now it is asking for username and password which is good okay so let me try to log in now Just to make just to make sure if the authentication is happening fine or not. So the problem was the authentication method was selected incorrectly. That was the reason why we could not we were not able to see uh, the username and password option and we were getting this uh, logon error message. So since we have changed the authentication method to the right option, it asks for the username and password, and we could also log into the storefront uh, with storefront server without any issues. Okay, so I hope you find this uh, information helpful. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.